Yo, what's going on? You're tuned in. It's the most humble show. How much do you know about the Bible? Here today with Lily. <laughs> okay, Lily, what's going on? Today we'll be playing for 20 flavors of Jelly Belly. <laughs> you like Jelly Bellies? Yes, absolutely. Tell us something about yourself. How much do you know about the Bible? A scale of 1 to 10. Um, I'm a student at Westchester University. And mm, I'm going to have to go with about a 3. I'm not feeling super confident, but that's okay. Holy Spirit. Hopefully <laughs> work through. Yeah. Well, the Holy Spirit can definitely work through. God says those who love him, love him in spirit. And in truth, press into the word of God. The word is truth. We're going to explain how the rules work. We're going to ask you a bunch of questions. You can hear a little ring at the beginning of each question. If you get it wrong, we laugh. It's not... But if you get it right, air horn is pretty fulfilling. I sometimes wish I could carry that around. I know, right? All right, well, we'll get it started. Are you ready? Which of the following was not a gift the wise men brought the baby Jesus? Gold, diamonds, frankincense, myrrh. Yes, diamonds are forever, but not in the story of Jesus. <laughs> Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the... Life. 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 He said life, right? <laughs> I heard light, but Jesus is also the light, so 50-50. <laughs> How did John the Baptist die? By crucifixion, by beheading, by stoning, by being torn apart by animals. Mm, beheading. Yes. Beheading. Herod. <laughs> Potiphar's wife tried to seduce what Old Testament character? Joshua, Judah, Jacob, Joseph. Jacob. You are wrong. I can tell you are not reading the OT. Not in the Old Testament. That's Joseph. She tried to seduce Joseph. Okay. And she was the Pharaoh's wife, so she was probably, you know, probably pretty old. Hey, so, and he turned it down, and I respect right. that. And everybody could learn something from Joseph there. Yeah, Who had a vision of heaven as he was being martyred by... Okay. I messed up my words. Take two. <laughs> Who had a vision of heaven as he was being martyred for his strong preaching? Stephen, Matthias, Paul, Timothy. Paul? No, Paul was actually there holding the coats of okay. the people who were stoning Stephen. Really? Paul was un he wasn't a Christian at this time. He was still a Pharisee. Okay. Stephen. Stephen. Sorry. Stephen, okay. Good. According to the book of Romans, how did oh uh, wait. <laughs> no, According to the book of Romans, how did God prove his love for sinners? Noah's rainbow, Christ's death, Paul's conversion, John's revelation. Christ's death? That is a good answer. That is a good answer. <laughs> right off of that yeah. into the jelly bellies. Because okay. it's either that or no jelly belly. Okay. I'll eat the jelly bellies. I don't have a problem keeping <laughs> this prize. What prophet rebuked David for his sin with Bathsheba? Nathan, Samuel, Ido, Jehu... Come on. Bro, come on. What do you mean? Obviously, you want that's another. Very, bro, that's very specific. Well, it's not. Okay. It's not. It, it's not Ido. Wait, can I give a hint? Can I give a hint? It's not. It's name, not Jehu. The name is the same as one of the disciples of Jesus. And what were the other options? Or would that give it away? What? What were other than. There's no prophet that. Okay, the, we'll start with the same letter. Is Nathan a disciple? You said oh, Nathan? Nathaniel? Mm -hmm. oh, Nathan. saying? That's yeah, a, I guess he's saying Nathaniel and Nathan are sounding. Whatever. It's always <laughs> interesting. I don't even, I just let that be for content's sake. Where did Jesus say Peter would find a coin to pay the temple tax? This is a good one. This is Jesus' funniest moment. I love this about Jesus. 
Jesus. Great sense of humor. Jesus is funny. I know. God has a sense of humor. Where did Jesus say Peter would find a coin to pay the temple tax? Along the roadside, in a fish's mouth, in the hem of Peter's robe, on the floor of the upper room. It's a fish's mouth? Yes. 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 Good. Great. (laughs) Good. Thanks, Ben. That had to have felt good, right? No, it feels good. Woo! What man blessed Mary and Joseph as they presented the young Jesus to the Lord? Fanuel, Simeon, Heli, Jairus. This is easy. There's only one of them that's in the real name. <laughs> These are the options. Um, Sim- Simeon. Who's dad is he? I think he's John the Baptist's dad. But anyways, no, it's all right if I'm wrong about that one. No, that's okay. Yeah. No, John the Baptist's dad blessed Jesus too. I oh, said okay. it's okay if it's not Simeon. I got it wrong. But someone blessed Jesus. It was John the Baptist's dad. He's the one who spoke the uh, prophecy. Okay. Yeah, he's a prophecy about it. I don't know who Simeon is. I said I don't know. He's not John the Baptist's dad. He was, he was the husband of the prophetess. Well, more on that later. <laughs> Anna, right? Right, Anna. I'm reading that tonight. Actually, it's funny you bring that up, which where we're at in the scriptures, and I read every night. At that exact point, she's supposed to read that tonight. It's in Luke. Who was stoned? It's Luke five. Who was stoned to death after taking silver and gold from the destroyed city of Jericho? I don't even know this. I don't even. Know. I'm not going to ask you. What does the name Barnabas mean? Devoted to God, son of encouragement, the Lord saves, man of faith. Oh, You're okay. You're okay. I'm going to have to go devoted to God. No, son of encouragement. <laughs> you know, probably discouraging getting all these questions wrong here. But it's yeah, encouraging, it's learning right? Yeah. Learning God experience. Wow. From what substance did God form Adam? Oh, we read this, we read yeah, we did. Right? Dust. Terrific. That is great. <laughs> we just read that. On what did God descri- inscribe his Ten Commandments? The stones have, yeah, okay. stones have. Okay. Uh-huh. So this is almost a three question streak. Okay. Jesus said he is the Alpha and the Omega. Okay, what is that? The beginning and the end. Very good. <laughs> and the Apostle Paul, to live is Christ and to die is. Joy? No. Heaven. Good. I'm glad that <laughs> you didn't. <laughs> it's none of them, it's gain. 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 But it's okay. <laughs> It's basically saying to it doesn't make sense because the way to live spiritually goes against your flesh. How many churches did Jesus address in the book of Revelation? Seven to Yes, pretty. all right. That's Final. it. The jelly bellies are your words. Shake it up. Shake it up. A couple of words. Yeah, thank you so much for coming on. I'm I'll do better next time. We appreciate it. Uh anything you want to say to people? Um, just keep living the faith. Uh, trust that God's gonna take you and show you your purpose in life. But thank you, Ben. Thank you for coming on. Appreciate it. <laughs> All right, guys, drop a comment if you enjoyed that. Peace. Hello, and thanks for tuning in to the most humble show. This is Steve Furman with Allied Mortgage Group. I'm a senior loan officer, and I've been with Allied Mortgage for over 18 years. If you're looking for a lender with low closing costs, low interest rates, and exceptional service, look no further. 856-371-9336. Again, 856-371-9336. Just ask for Steve, and we will go above and beyond helping you get approved to purchase your new home. NMLS number 199530. Again, just ask for Steve. We're always here to help and looking forward to speaking to you soon.